a firestorm of controversy has erupted within the ruling ZANU-PF party, as political commissar Chaurai Kandashaya of the Youth League lashes out at senior politician Christopher Mutsvangwa over his contentious claims that Vice President Constantino Chiwenga was not predestined to succeed President Emerson Umningagwa. This latest bout of infighting within the party is causing ripples of concern and uncertainty, as the race to succeed Umningagwa heats up. Mutsvangwa, the outspoken ZANU-PF spokesperson and former ambassador to China, was quoted in the media over the weekend dismissing the widely held belief that Chiwenga, the former military general who orchestrated the 2017 coup against the late Robert Mugabe, was the presumptive successor to Umningagwa. The coup, which was widely believed to have been a result of a pact between Umningagwa and Chiwenga, has long been rumored to have included a gentleman's agreement that Chiwenga would succeed Umningagwa at the end of his tenure. President Umningagwa, who recently announced that he will not seek a third term and plans to go and rest at the completion of his term in 2028, has not yet publicly endorsed a preferred successor. Mutsvangwa, however, has been adamant that ZANU-PF does not operate like a church, where individuals can be anointed as leaders. He insists that aspiring leaders must sell themselves to the people, and that the party is not a secret society with hidden succession agreements. In an interview with the state broadcaster, ZBC, Candace Shia slammed Mutsvangwa for discussing party succession with the media, stating that there are laid down procedures for such discussions within ZANU-PF. Candace Shia asserted that the party's constitution, code of conduct, and ideology must be adhered to in all matters, and that discussing succession outside of these established channels is unprocedural and inappropriate. Former Norton MP, Sabuka Tembam Liswa is on record saying that Mutz Vangwa harbors presidential aspirations. And this could be confirmed by Mutz Vangwa's consistent criticism of Chiwenga. The internal conflict between Mutz Vangwa and Chiwenga can be traced back to the 2017 coup, which saw Mugabe's ousting and Umingagwa's rise to power. The original plan, brokered by the military junta led by Chiwenga, stipulated that Umingagwa would serve two terms before relinquishing power to Chiwenga without an election. However, Umingagwa's supporters, including Mutsvangwa, now appear to be backtracking on this agreement. Mutsvangwa, a staunch Umingagwa ally, has openly stated that Chiwenga should face an election to become Umingagwa's successor. The bad blood between the two ZANU-PF heavyweights has reportedly led to personal attacks and accusations, with some speculating that the animosity between them may have even contributed to the arrest of Mutsvangwa's son, Neville, on allegations of money laundering and illegal cash dealings earlier this year. In an extraordinary interview with The Standard, Mutsvangwa seemed to imply that Vice President Chiwenga may have been involved in his son's arrest claiming that somebody else, who thought they were wearing the shoes of the head of state, was manipulating the situation. Mutsvangwa's wife, Women's Affairs Minister Monica Mutsvangwa, also spoke out about her son's arrest, calling it political victimization. As the race to succeed President Umingagwa intensifies, the ZANU-PF Youth League's response to Mutsvangwa's controversial statements indicates that the party's future leadership is far from settled. With tensions running high and the stakes growing ever greater, the battle for the soul of ZANU-PF is set to captivate Zimbabwe's political landscape in the coming years. In a statement released to the press, Candace Shia emphasized the importance of unity within the party and urged members to focus on the tasks at hand, rather than engaging in divisive rhetoric. We must remember that our primary goal is to serve the people of Zimbabwe and to build a brighter future for our nation. Candace Shia said, as we look towards the 2028 elections and beyond, let us work together to ensure that ZANU-PF remains a strong and united force for progress and prosperity. However, with the ambitions of key figures like Mutz Vangwa and Chiwenga clashing so publicly, it remains to be seen whether the party can maintain unity and stability in the face of internal strife. As the battle for succession unfolds, Zimbabweans will be watching closely to see who emerges as the frontrunner to lead the country into a new era.